Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, over the last couple of months, I've been letting you know about the new migration tool that is going to be coming to the Windows Backup app. And I'll leave a video I posted on this previously if you'd like some more information. But the migration tool will allow you to transfer files between different Windows devices. Now, last week I posted a video regarding our next optional bug fix C release update, KB5061087, which is now in final preview for Windows 10, which is going to be rolling out over the next couple of days. I would say starting next week, Tuesday. I'll leave that video linked. My reason for mentioning that video is because Phantom of Earth over on X, once again, has spotted an update in the Windows Backup app as we can see, with an option called transfer information to a new PC, which is visible in that build, which is now in final preview. But it's not a default feature, it's a hidden feature. So this is code that Microsoft is working on internally and a feature that hasn't yet been enabled, so it's still early days. Now Phantom of Earth has this to say, Unsurprisingly, Windows migration is coming to Windows 10 to make it easier to move to Windows 11 as we get closer to Windows 10's end of life, which obviously is taking place as I have been posting on the 14th of October this year, 2025, and Microsoft still hasn't changed its stance on that. So obviously, Microsoft is wanting to roll this out, hopefully not too late because time is flying and this is still a hidden feature. And obviously Microsoft is rolling this out to make the migration from Windows 10 to Windows 11 a lot simpler and easier to do. Now the first option, back up this PC, will back up everything to OneDrive. And obviously as mentioned, the second option, transfer information to a new PC, will migrate data from one PC to another. Now this can obviously be used to transfer files between any supported Windows systems, but I think the main purpose is to transfer from Windows 10 PCs to Windows 11. And if we head to another image provided, both PCs need to be on the same network. And yeah, we can see that a verification code is required to start the process. So obviously that is for a bit of extra security. And I think the main goal with this feature is that Microsoft wants to push more customers and more users of Windows 10 and make the move to Windows 11 a lot simpler to do with this tool. But to me, it seems that if Microsoft wants to clearly roll this out to transfer information from a Windows 10 to a new Windows 11 PC, they need to start hurrying up the process because this is still a hidden feature. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is something you would actually use to transfer information to a new PC? be that Windows 10 to 11 or just between two existing devices or would you prefer rather using a third-party app? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and obviously if I get any more information regarding this, I'll post and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.